Hello, it's me, Jane Mania, and today I have my print. One thing that's a design flaw is the supports. It's very, I now realize that for a small area, it'd be very hard to get them out. I tried these, I tried this, these woodcut knives, but they're too big for these little intro small little crevices so it can't reach. I've also tried this and it's too hard. So, I'm instead of this, trying to just get it through, we realized that we should just save this as like, my first actual successful print and we remade it. So here is my brand new remade one which is way bigger and I'm going to so, Yes, just solder it together with my 3D printing pen, which is very nice located right here. And I'm going to use the same color so it does not look bad when I solder it together. I'll be right back when we set it up. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, it's me, Jane Man. I'm back again. And now this is the first step of me putting this together. I'm going to be taking the, all the, uh, the print off the base now. Carefully. Can you try and lift it first? Yeah. Maybe it will just come off that way? Mm. No can do, huh? Mm, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it feels really nice. <laughs> I love that. Mm. Oh, it's always hard to get it do off. You want, do you want me to help? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to pause this. I'll be right back. Until Here we go. It kind of always takes the tape bed tape up. <laughs> yeah, it happened last time. Oh, we're getting it. Ah! So now we're going to have to purchase some new tape bed tape. Here comes the crug. Okay, so that <laughs> <laughs> and here comes... So, <clears throat> oh, this is a joke of it. It's the crew gear. <laughs> Mr. Kruger. Oh, love it. Hopefully. Does uh, the robotics club, right? Yeah. So it's pretty cool to... Have the gears, the gear on there, yeah. which I think was really cute of you to do. Okay, there's one, Jane, but you have to go clean the <laughs> tape bed tape. Yeah, off luckily the back. we have one extra. Mm-hmm. We it comes with three, and I love it. Wow, this is really difficult. And the gear's the most fragile. I'm doing it gentle, buddy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just can't believe that it sticks so hard, but then sometimes it's well, that's good, so though. difficult to make it stick so that you can... I think we can pull it off. Oh! I'm going to go ahead and let you finish the last move there. Oh, okay, now it's like... Oh, it feels so nice! <laughs> oh, I saved some of the tape! Oh, yeah, sweet, we still can't... There's nothing on it. There's nothing much on it. Yeah, and you can just use water to <gasps> get that off, huh? Yeah. Well, there you go. Oh Set them together God. and let's see what it would look like. Wow! Lay it down. Oh, oh, the gear does stay flat. Oh, lay, my gosh! Lay it down, bud, so I can see it. Oh, lay it down, okay. Yeah. So this is nice and big, and then you're going to solder <gasps> it together right there, right? Oh, my gosh, yes. How cool. You did a really good job with this design, It buddy. looks awesome. And it's thick enough to stand, too. Yeah. Proud of yourself? Yes, I thought the gear wasn't going to work because like when I was on it, it didn't look like it was going to... Well, you turned it so that your prongs would sit too on the yeah, floor. Yeah, I so. totally forgot I did that. <laughs> <laughs> so it should stand. All I'm right. so excited. Awesome job, buddy. We'll be back as soon as we have the 30 soldering <laughs> ta area set up, and I'll be back as soon... We'll be back... Shortly. Shortly. Bye-bye. <laughs>
And plus, it gets a long time before you get to put it on, right? Okay. <laughs> this one I can take my time with. So, a little dot in the center. I would do just a circle. A a kind of an like, open circle. Like that, that way it connects as much like as it can. I can't see what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. All the way. I don't see anything coming up. It's there, coming out. It's coming out. You can do more than that, buddy. Way more than that. I know I said it only takes a little, but... There. More, buddy. More. You need more than that. Oh. oh. Okay, you're good. Yeah. All right, so you sure you want me to do it? Yes. Okay. I really don't want to mess with it. Let's just see if we can get it to line up here. Perfect. Not yet. <gasps> now i got super glue on my hand. <laughs> you can get it. I, I knew I put too much because like, it was like a big Hold bowl. on, hold on, bud. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry that you got super glue on your finger. Oh crap, I do have super glue on my finger. Alright, now I'm just going to hold it for 30 seconds. And while we're waiting, it was this peaceful music. <laughs> you such a crazy kid. <laughs> oh my, I found my funny bone. <laughs> You're silly. I'm silly. <laughs> Are you counting? No. <laughs> Well, let's see. You know, maybe you can add a tack of the stuff on the back afterwards as extra support. Yeah. And, and do it in a way that won't be seen. Yeah, yeah. I know how to do Look that. Look at how big you, this print is, the way you did it, I versus know. what your other one did. It's like his big brother. <laughs> yep. His big... But this gear okay. is the gear that you did there, too. But you did yeah. it sideways, so you didn't need support. Yeah, time, it so. it's way better sideways because look, the prongs actually better quality because it doesn't have to go over. Yeah, it. that was just too tiny. I think the idea you had to to do it split up was good because you can make things much bigger when you split yeah, it up. Yeah, but this is just a good example about how this is my first print, so we're gonna keep this as a souvenir. <laughs> oh wow! Oh crap! My fingers are sticking to everything because I have the extra glue. Don't get glued to the print. Have you got super glue stuck on you before? There you go, buddy. It's <laughs> together, but don't touch it because it still needs oh to. Oh gosh, uh, it looks awesome. Still dry. I have some acetone to take the super glue off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, acetone, acetone, the lifesaver. <laughs> there you go, buddy. You, okay. you... And it's just. This is your so very super. first print because you only have a six inch print uh, height and width mm -hmm. <clears throat> and now look what you have I think your teacher will like that what do you think yeah I think he's gonna love it and it's just it, okay when you okay where if you have a finger on it this way it feels like it's like on a very flat surface but if you do it that way it feels like you're on a very rough surface because lines are going that way mm -hmm. it's just ah it's awesome I'm just like it's really this one took a little bit long, actually a lot longer, but it was worth it because it's just, even though we had to glue it, it's still awesome. It's because we can make it longer. We can make things even bigger than 6x6x6. Six by six by six. This is 8 by something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how long that is. Why don't oh, Daddy, Daddy can get the ruler? Right, and a half and an inch. Yeah, you did it a half inch thick. Yeah, and uh, it was. you said it was like about like 8. Uh, well, I just gassed. Ruler. No super ruler. Go ahead and measure it, buddy, and see. Measuring down me. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. You have a nine-inch print. Yeah, I was a Manowski. <laughs> yeah, and how tall are your letters? Oh, that was... Uh, oh, yeah, this Let's one. Say. Oh. So we can see it on camera. You are about an inch and a quarter tall. How tall is your gear? Yeah, that's going to be like a, about like a three inches. inches. Yeah, three. three. Yep, it's three inches I was tall. Close. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn this off after I take the filament out. Well, you're going to actually use it to solder the back just to oh, add yeah. a little extra support uh, to the plus, super glue. It'll be easy to do it because I mean, just like do it and it'll like dry instantly. And plus, it'll make the super glue. Because yeah, it's going to stand up. You want it to stand up. And so. that'll make it hot glue. <laughs> Yeah, so. Can you do that right now? Well, Jaden, I can't see your head at all in the video. There okay. you go. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to do this. All right, so what you can do is you can lay it down. Oh, 
Oh, dang it. If you leave it idle, it, has, it turns off for safety. <laughs> oh, okay. All you need to do, hon, is just run a, a support line across here. That's all you have to oh. do, just right here. Just down like that little, like that? Yep, line, just, like that up, way? just where it's connected. Okay. That way it's less noticeable, okay? Yeah. Plus the back, so I miss her. Kruger would see up and not the kids unless they right. see behind his desk. Sorry, right here. <laughs> yeah, so you want to smush it right down the tip against it because you don't want it to just lay on top. You sure want it to did. smear into it, okay? Just go zigzag back and forth down the line. Uh, well, I did that. All right, that looks like it'll work, right? Yeah. Can you press it down with this to make sure that it's... Yeah. It's probably too cold. Yeah, it's already hard. <laughs> I like that, though, because then you don't have to worry about it, like, not... I'm just gonna take this out. Oh, that's okay. That's why they're different. Oh, now I understand. Now I know why they're different. Only use PLA because it's it, it's easier to make tall structures because it cools faster. Oh, does it? Yeah. Now I get it. All right, buddy. <laughs> Was there anything else you want to say? Um, I wanted to say um. Oh, and you did do a time lapse of the whole thing printing. Oh yeah. I what time did we start it at? Do you remember? Um. I'm not sure. I'm not sure of the time it started, but it finished printing at just about 1.30 in the morning. Yeah, I was like, well, at one point, I actually was being sneaky. I listened out my door to see if it was still printing. Yeah. And it was. <laughs> yeah. Bye-bye. This is Jamie Oh, wait, hold on. This is Jamie I'll see you guys next time. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. And bye-bye. Here are my final prints. So this is my first one, which was not very successful because of the support, so it was upright. And this one was successful because it printed flat. And as you can see, this one's much better because I've learned now that I should start printing um, flat, not straight up and down because I do not need supports and it just comes out in just way better quality. Thank you for watching my channel and please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.